Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft video. So today we are at currently our what do you call it farm, the slime farm, and as you can see, I'm getting a little bit of slime. And uh, essentially, I haven't really, I'm not really now too interested in making it more efficient. I think it's just slimes are spawning, but not too many, and none, of, not that many of them are falling down into the hole. So whatever. I mean, as you saw, oh. One second. That was an uh, unexpected beginning to my video. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So as you saw last episode, I've basically done currently what I want to do with the slime. And that's good. That means I can now uh, work on other things. So what is the other things, you might ask? Well, I have this bamboo. And what do I need to do with the bamboo? Or what do I want to do with the bamboo? Is obviously to grow it, make a farm. Now, how is my sound? Okay, it's good. This is my chicken farm as well, by the way. Let's take out the feather. That's also working perfectly. I have loads and loads of chicken. So, sorry. So, essentially, just like with anything in Minecraft, I want to make a nice automatic farm that can, I can easily use to harvest a lot of bamboo in a short amount of time. Or at least whilst doing it AFK, so you don't need to worry about it. Whoa. What the hell? This guy's probably kitted out. Come on, man. Die. Okay. So, <clears throat> as you can see here, this is a sheep farm. The sheep farm is doing quite well, actually. I need to move some of this wool into my other double chest. Let me just make sure my inventory is nice and organized so I don't lose anything. Okay. So I take any four stacks of wool I find and I put it into another chest, which is over here. As you can see, that is also an 84, which is quite impressive, actually. Um, just the amount of wool I have. <coughs> so, today what we're going to be doing, first of all, is building this bamboo farm. Now, why is that? Because I need scaffolding. And why is that? To do... Oh dear, I've actually filled up this chest as well. Well, what a shame. I have the chests full of wool. So, yeah. I also want to build a mob farm today, preferably, I don't actually know where exactly, but it'll be quite high up. <coughs> and essentially what I'm going to be doing now is um, setting up, like I said, a nice bamboo farm, trying to uh, make sure it's nice and automatic, finding a space for it as well. So bamboo grows really fast, and there were loads of designs I saw, but I decided to go for essentially something that I would like to build myself. So I looked at the wiki just to see how the mechanics of the bamboo is and um, essentially what I'm going to be doing is something very very similar to my um, <coughs> sugarcane farm. So what I'm going to have is here, actually wait, do I have a shovel? Oh, you know what, I might just take a shovel to clear up some areas. So I'm going to have bamboo here going up, then piston here, then detector over here. <coughs> Detectors send a signal to the pistons, pistons push bamboo into like a stream of water, I don't know whether it's going to be water or something else because I might expand it so it covers a fair bit and I don't want to put water, lose of water, hoppers etc. I might just have my normal minecart with a hopper system which works perfectly. So what will I need first? Well I need to first clear up an area so let me find my shovel, where did I put my shovel? Here we go. So you can see this is the shovel I got from the villagers which I need to work on a little bit more because I want to get to those uh, good trades. The village, by the way, is working perfectly. Now, I do still think that the villagers are taking damage when they fall. So I need to make properly make sure that that doesn't happen anymore. Um, which I will do soon. But as you can see, the villagers... Oh, there is a villager. Good. As long as there's a villager farmer and at least one other villager, then they should just bleed automatically. But of course I wouldn't need to proof it so then I don't have um, villagers automatically just dying. Especially the ones that I have good trades with. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm also, you know, a little bit uh, ill today, feeling a bit sick. So, apologies. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, clear up a little bit of the area around here. It's good. Now, I'm probably going to... Okay, also bamboo doesn't grow on stone so I'll need to move that out as well. Good, good. I'm going to place the bamboo where I want it to be placed right now. So I'm going to put one, two, can I put it next to each other? It's a bit, I don't know how it works. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and actually, you know, let's, let's do five. So five here, and then 
Let me just uh, do this. And then I'm going to have pistons. One, two, three, four, five pistons. So I'm going to make that. And then five detectors and loads of redstone, etc. So I might actually need to clear up a whole large amount of area over here just so I can uh, have it, uh, you know, all nice and easy to set up. And then, of course, afterwards I'll put down dirt just to make sure it looks nice and natural, not just like one huge redstone contraption. So I will see you okay, soon. Okay, so I am finally ready. As you can see by um, the bamboo growing and uh, my levels, I have done... Uh, it's a bit more things I like. I spend a lot more time than just uh, working on these stuff here. So I just spend loads of it. Ooh, I was surprised by that. Working on the village over there, which I will show later. Okay, so what we will need now, essentially, this. I think that's for actually my uh, breaking the bedrock thing, which I think I will do a bit more off in the Nether, just off camera, just so I can have a proper transport system. So you might remember from last episode, I had to like run 2000 blocks back home which I don't want to do um, I mean I don't think anyone wants to do that so I think I will probably put these here and this here um, just for um, now and then afterwards because you don't need really need any more resources apart from ender pearls potentially um, to get uh, and to do what I was doing because all of it is um, actually you might need more TNT but apart from that um, it's fairly simple to break the bedroom okay you know I was just being silly I just threw away my pistons my apologies let me get that so um, as you can see also works on the farm the farm uh, not the farm the village the village um, for some reason the villages do keep dying so like I said we will visit it later and see what's happening but um, I believe that is because they keep falling down like I, I like the baby villager I put down some fences and he went between the fence gaps and he just like took damage, then went up and did it again, just like that. I was like, you idiot. Why are you doing that? So I had to put the carpet on the fence for the gap. Well, you will see, you will see. Um, let me just uh, wire this up. So, obviously, a bamboo farm um, is quite a nice farm. It's just, it's nice and simple to make, and it gives you a lot of resources as well. Now, what I will need is, is a hopper, and I will need a double chest. So let me get that quickly. Hop a double chest. I have. I um, also need some dirt as well, just so I can make. Actually, shall I make dirt? Shall I get dirt? I don't know. Um, essentially, also, um, I will require glass. Now, unfortunately, the guy who um, my not cleric, the, the guy who sends sells me glass, the, the librarian, he died. Like the, the the guy who gave me loads and loads of good glass and loads of good deals died. That's the guy who also sold me the bookshelves. So then. I sell him the books for a cheaper amount. I don't know. Okay. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, he just disappeared. I don't know at all where he is. Which is a shame and kind of annoying. But that's fine because I got a new one. And he has not the same deal because he isn't, hasn't been turned from a zombie villager. But he has a pretty good deal as well. But, of course, like I said, we will see that later. So, I'll need this. I'll need some dirt. And I have some glass as well. Good, good, good. Okay, that should be, I think, all there is to it. So, what I will now do is I will put this here and this here. So this bamboo, for some reason, is slower than the others. I mean, look at how tall it's growing already. That is very good. Very useful as well for me. So I'm not going to actually use glass. I'm going to use... I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use glass. Now, I think the water should flow all the way... No, but if I put the hopper here, then it should fall automatically into the hopper. I'll then uh, put the hopper, no, chest first. Oh, the chest and the hopper system is so awkward, this one. Right, oh, chest and hopper connected to the chest. Let me just check it works. Yep, okay, good, good. Now, glass, I will put, actually, yeah, I'll put it over here. And then I'll make taller as well. So I'll probably I have loads of glass, and if I need more glass, I will trade, and that will just do. This is like it's so good for you to trade with villagers because, of course, you get uh, the villagers get the uh, uh, not the experience. Uh, no, it's in the you have a good. That's the wrong way. You have good um, uh, relationship with the villagers, 
and also you get experience and you get stuff and if you have trades like that book trade where you essentially just get money so you can just do trades and you get an infinite amount of emeralds with time of course you don't just get an infinite amount of emeralds for like all the time you just need to uh, wait for the deals to reappear but if you do that then you get loads of uh, uh, experience there's no, there's no reason not to trade okay so we now have a bit of a problem which is wiring the observer into the piston okay Oh, it's already growing. See, that's how fast it's growing. It is really good, this system. Bamboo grows really fast. And you can also... Uh, there's there's um, an XP, XP farm, which I might make uh, um, later on in a different episode, which essentially just utilizes how fast bamboo grows. Because you can also smelt bamboo, so you can automatically collect that bamboo, put it into your furnace, and at the same time you can smelt cactus, or cacti, and then you can get your green dye which there's no really large use for I might use it to like sell with the villager you get your green dye and then what you do is because you can have a, f a hopper automatically attach to the furnace which takes away but the furnace stores all the XP so although for one cactus smelted you might get very little XP it all adds up together especially if you have multiple furnaces working together now I will need to think of a way to root this you know probably I mean can I Two, three, four, five. Because this, I oh know that's not how a positive connection works. Uh, thing is, that will connect to that redstone. Hmm. Ah. Okay, that does work then. Put that here. Okay. Oh wait. Do I do it too high? I think I did do it too high. That's fine because if I do this, two and three, because there's no real difference whether um, where the bamboo grows, whether it's uh, one or two bamboo, if you know what I mean. So essentially, it's actually this works. This is a working system. If I do this, you know, I'm going to go to sleep. Probably also tell from my um, commentary. I'm slightly tired. I've worked two night shifts in a row, uh, which is, you know, it's nice to have a job and earn money. So I'm not complaining about the work. I mean, it is obviously long and tiring work, but it's work, and I get to do this as well. So that's all fun, all fun and games. And, you know, making farms is really an exciting, like, not a job, obviously, but it's exciting work because farming like, farming like this, because... You need to use your brain, and then when you actually make something work, it's like an immense sense of achievement. But either way, if I then do this, where's my shovel? Okay. Now we do have the problem of. Actually, no, wait, it's not a big problem. Because essentially, water breaks the bamboo. If it's like this, then it breaks it. However, if the bamboo is. No, one second. No one's gonna know, it does actually matter. Uh oh. Have I messed up already? How have I messed up a bamboo farm? Never mind, I'll, I'll make it work just one second. Okay, so I figured it out, I just moved these all up one block. Now, for some reason, if I just do this with the redstone, it works, which I have no clue why. Um, of course, I'll need to think there have been some redstone changes since I last played properly. So, uh, we'll see, that was several years ago with, with the quasi connections, etc. I don't know whether that was in when I last played, but it seems to be interesting. Now, essentially, what that means is I need to break this just to reset it. I'll now need to properly glass this up just to make sure that um, the bamboo doesn't go in, nor does anything else. So, let me do that to go back to the house. Now, it's great that I have the village system over there, just because um, it's nice to have, for example... Basically an infinite supply of glass. I mean, I need to spend some time getting that glass. But other than that, we need to have loads. If I let me get some more. Where are my emeralds? Wait, has, have I spent all my emeralds? I think I... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Why are they here? Okay. Actually, this will be a good time to actually 
Actually, you know, it won't be a good time to visit the village. Let me just do the glass thing first. So as you can see, the bamboo farm is working. I think it's working perfectly as well. But the bamboo farm is quite simple to make. I mean, give it light to grow. Give it, um, uh, you know, I don't think it needs water. Just give it light, grass, some system for automatically putting the bamboo down, cutting it down as in, and you're good. Which is quite nice to me. It is, like, like I said, it's a very efficient system. And we can utilize this later to make an automatic, um, like, experience grinder thing. I'll need to work on that though, and I'll need to see. And this automatic experience grinder thing, unlike, as you know, you're, you do still rely on bamboo to grow. So it's not exactly, because I was thinking whether it was actually fully in, full on automatic. There goes my pickaxe. So whereby you don't even need to, uh, you don't even need to be at all in the vicinity, as long as it's in a spawn trunk, obviously. Let me just properly glass this up, just so bamboo only grows where I want it to grow. As in, only falls where I want it to fall, so it can be easily collected. This, three, one, two, three. Okay, sorry, I had to cut while I sneezed. So, okay, one, two, and my nose sees again. <coughs> sorry, okay. As you can tell, I am slightly ill. Okay, good. Oh, wait, not good. I didn't want it there. Okay, so let's see how much bamboo we have currently. 11. That's a huge, huge amount. Wow, I have, whoa, I have more than a stack. I nearly have a second and a half. That is amazing. So you can see the bamboo farm is working. Um, there are more efficient designs, I think, but this should work perfectly. Um, apart from the fact that bamboo keeps setting stuck in the thing. Now, this is where having a minecart would help, which I might actually do, to be honest. A minecart with a hopper. Let me do that, actually. It's because... That would the mic up with the hopper would collect everything in there. The mic up with the hopper is actually like I'm really happy I found that system. It's really really useful. Just having that system where a mine cart just goes around, collects everything, every single thing, and puts it in the chest. Um, right, what else do I need? I need the hopper, which requires me to go and get a chest. I'm run, running out of chests, but look at this diamond axe. This diamond axe is literally made. Okay, I can't, I can easily make this. Oops. The diamond chest has made... No, I need to make a hopper. Diamond chest has made... Uh, axe rather has made um, collecting wood so much easier. Huge amount easier. All I need to do is just... Uh, you know... Actually, wait one second. I don't actually have the toolsmith anymore. I just realised. For some reason, he died again like, as well. So that means I need to mine loads of coal to upgrade my guy. Okay. The village, as you can see, still is a work in progress, but I have the main foundations in the works. So that should be fine. It'll take a little while, obviously, for it to be fully, fully sustainable and just, you know, altogether amazing. But um, I'm happy that the first steps are working. Okay, let me put this here. Okay, let me collect this water. Now what will probably happen is I will put the minecart, oh, one second, that wasn't meant to happen, I'll put the minecart on this level, so it will just be going along normally over here, and then it will be going under the blocks, and um, where the actual, not chicane, but the actual bamboo is, no, that won't work, because the hopper is there. Matt, this happens now. Okay, let me just move the hopper in the chest. It's fine. I mean, I'll survive. Also, I'm picking up wool. Let me put that in the chest as well. So, as you can see, the wool farm is working perfectly. It is really nice how it's just perfectly working. I'll need this though. Um, let me put this, 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 and that's it. Okay. Okay. So, wolf farm is working perfectly. The villager, the village is actually also working perfectly. I just don't know why the villagers keep um, going away. I doubt they're despawning. It's because it's not like I don't think it's a villager mechanic or village mechanic to do that. But of course, we will see. Um, 
But either way, I'll probably have to find some way of fixing it. Oh, come on, it's night time, man. I... Okay. So, I will need to sort out a few things. Now, something else is that it seems like my bamboo farm is too close. Not too close, but really close to the minecart. It's called the minecart. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, what, what? what happened here? Ah, the water, of course. Okay, let me just fix that quickly. So that will need to go to here. Okay. Does that collect everything? No, okay, what? Well, it's actually, it is really close to... Uh, the sheep farm is really close to my bamboo farm, which hopefully won't matter wait one second it might I don't think it will okay go and I will put the wool out the way in here collect good okay all right so what we'll do is I'll move the chest down so let me just grab the chest. Okay. And I'll move all of this down. So the minecart is on this level. And then and then I will have the oh, wrong thing. I'll have the chest here. Let me just do that quickly. Oh, no, I want the chests. Thank you. One, two, two. Okay. It's misbehaving. One. Okay, and then I will simply attach that to the hopper. Okay, and now all I need to do is just clear this one block of, uh, of area and place down. Wait, I also need this part as well. And place down a cobble. So now I will also need a powered rail, which will probably be. In here so I'll put down this now the powered rail I just need it so uh, the minecart doesn't stop so it keeps going basically okay no it always does this I'm so bad with tracks whoa don't be silly if you haven't noticed I am horrendously poor at placing down tracks for some reason I don't know why okay and how many times have I placed down tracks as well it's not like oh it's the first time you're doing this uh, no I mean, okay, what did I get from that one? Now, I have suspicious too because, uh, because one of the villagers were saying it, so I thought I might as well, just so I uh, level up my villagers. Now, that should be fine. I have bamboo here. Okay, well, of course it is now time to test it. Hopefully a creeper doesn't sneak up on me. Okay. Oh, there's a cat. Alright. So I'm going to pause right now. And go to bed. And we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it is now daytime again. Now, I couldn't sleep because there were monsters close by. But, uh, you know, AFK did a bit. Oh. Die. Die. Do I get his... No, okay, fine. So, but however, since I was AFK... I should now be able to check whether this is working and it is good 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 now obviously as you can see I have nearly two stacks of bamboo already you know um, no, of course um, but it does seem to be working quite nicely and uh, at a decent rate as well of course if I wish to I can expand this uh, further in bamboo does need the light level of at least nine to grow however so I need to use more glass but talking of glass, it is now a good time to check on the villagers. No, that is not your hiding spot, skeleton. Bang. Yeah, that's right. Get set on fire. And you know what? 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 Just die. Here we go. So now is a good time to check on the village. So as you can see, as I told you, the villagers have just been dying. And it's been very, very frustrating because um, I'm pretty sure they die just because they drop from like floors and then I don't know when it's AFK when I'm AFK then uh, essentially 
I keep expecting to find more villagers in before since it should just be breeding, but no. So we have a library, a cartographer here, rather. He, I mean, uh, good for him. I don't, I'm not really too worried about cartography because the best thing you can sell me is the wooden, oh, woodland mansion map. But I have that ready. I have a farmer, a master. Um, good trades, especially the pumpkin because I have huge amounts of pumpkin. Pumpkin pie is nice. Cookies are like oh, whatever. Melons don't have suspicious you, but this. This is good for my, um, uh, actually, golden carrot, apparently, some say, is the best food in the game, just because of how high its saturation is. Um, I think it's still steak, just because steak has slightly worse saturation, but is um, uh, good for, you know, it heals more health, um, no, food points. We also have this guy, who is the uh, librarian, so he's the one who sold me a little glass, and I will need more, thank you. And he also has the um, multi-shot in the book, which I probably need to get another librarian because that's not exactly what I'm looking for. But he also, I can buy bookcases. And then look, I bought that for how much was it? Six emeralds. I'm down. And now, if I do this, three, four, five, six. And that annoys me. That one bookshelf didn't place in the line. If I now do this, I have 15 books, and I can sell that to him for. 15 emeralds so I already made uh, a profit of 9 emeralds obviously I can't sell that last book <laughs> but you know that's all good you can also get the uh, multi shot enchantment as you saw L uh, mm, I can't speak today lantern is also quite useful just because um, it's nice to light this area up a little bit more and light it up properly but yeah so you know what? Just because I think this episode might be a little shorter. Because by the way, I don't not I don't fancy building the mob spawner this episode. Just because um, I think, judging from how it is before, uh, my episodes go before. It's probably going to be taking a lot longer than um, it usually does. Just because it's a fairly complex piece. Um, not, well, it's not a piece, but it's a fairly complex design. Um, a mob spawner. So what I'll do now, just so um, we flesh out this episode a little bit, so it's not just uh, me making a bamboo farm, I am going to kidnap a villager into the, uh, I think I might actually kidnap the cartographer, into a uh, boot, out into the wilderness, get a zombie to kill him, and then turn back into a zombie, uh, into a villager, and then... Uh, We'll take it from there, and that person, that villager, I'll probably have, like I said, being a, uh, a librarian, just so I can get a nice enchanted book, preferably mending. Mending seems to be an enchanted book that everyone goes for, and uh, yeah, and it's quite obvious why. As you can see, some of my tools, I mean, I would first of all like to use things like my diamond sword more often, and I have really good armor so far, obviously. Not the best armor yet, but it's in the works. But of course, I don't want to use it too much because first of all, I might lose it. But also, secondly, I might, um, uh, I might uh, uh, break it as well, just from too much use. So you can see before my diamond pickaxe was getting low. So let's see. Where's the time? Midday. Okay. So what I will do then is I will get a village into a boat, and I will also. Um, set up a nice, won't say it's not going to be a redstone contraption, but it's going to be a system for easily entering and exiting the area. So, as you can see, um, essentially, for I kind of have like a weird parkour way of entering the village, which I don't really like. I mean, I just want to have a nice system. Actually, I need fences as well. <laughs> so, I just need to have a nice system of just entering the village, you know saying hi to everyone and then exiting without having to go up and then over and round etc none of that fuss okay so what i will do is i will start setting up those systems and i'll see you then okay so i might have taken the village thing village too far slightly too far so as you can see here we have a nice village all good iron golems patrolling all nice and safe hopefully you can see actually i made uh, some contraption with the fences which doesn't look the nicest but uh, i might make it nice look nicer later but 
literally the villagers. I thought this was time without the carpet. The villagers literally down here. Like this. Okay, never mind. However, um, unfortunately, it's not all as nice and innocent. Now, what I do want is a nice place for where I have my good villagers all together. As in those who have good trades. So I might have constructed a little dungeon. Um, obviously, I will expand this a little bit. But essentially, what this is, is I will soon invite a nice uh, zombie to join me. Oh, look, here we go. Hello, zombies. Uh, nice of you to uh, join us. Yeah, if you just follow me this way, please. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Idiot, come on. And then essentially, a zombie will enter. Z zombie! Oh, okay. Uh, zombie will enter. I will now lead him into the boat with the villager. I will close this door. And then. And then. Haha. <laughs> nice and simple. Iron Gomes can't do anything about it. And simply all you need to do now is come in. You have now a zombie villager and a normal villager. Kaproom. Kaproom. Now, just in case, I think that normally the village zombies do despawn, but with the axe. Okay, it's taking a fair while. But he's now dead. And we now have a nice villager. So what I'm also going to do, like I said, I need to expand this slightly because uh, the plan is for there to be slightly more than uh, just one villager. Perhaps one of each trade, actually. Um, but that's a long-term plan. Uh, so what I'm going to do is quite simply uh, expand this area out a little bit and have little booths for them. So places where they can't really escape and it's nice and controllable um, what happens to them. So I'm going to construct one now. It's going to be quite simple. I'm going to have um, an area. Uh, again, like I said, I don't really know exactly how it's going to work. But this is actually quite useful. Um, this is nice 2 by 3 by 3 I'm going to, when the zombie uh, villager turns into a villager, just park this uh, zombie or villager by then, right here. I'm going to give him a nice bed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put um, a lectern here, that's afterwards, and then I'm going to put slabs just so he can't escape. And essentially, if I put a slab at the right height, actually, I'll need to see exactly how I'm going to stop him from escaping. I might just put fence posts down. Um, but essentially what that's going to mean is that I can easily control his uh, trade and also, most, most importantly, what he trades for me. So I can just keep taking out his um, uh, taking out his uh, a workstation and putting it back in until he gives me the trading book, that I, uh, the enchanted book that I want. And I can also, like I said, I can just expand this area here and just fill it up with zombies. Uh, not zombies. Ow! villages so look that's already two booths three booths as for lighting you know I might as well give them nice lighting Actually, you know what now you know what they can talk they can talk to each other I'm gonna I'm gonna make it nice for them because uh, what I am doing is a little bit mean uh, I'm not going to lie this is I can have a nice executive suites with um, three by three by three area and then we can just do the same along the wall on the side so this will be a very nice area just for, I mean, obviously, it'll have to be finished first. It will be a very nice area for me to capture zombie uh, villagers, as you can see. This is especially made easier by this nice door system I placed. Sorry about that, zombie. By this nice door system that I placed. And, yeah. Now, something cool I found is I was going to remove this nether uh, brick wall, but the zombie, the dying girl, can actually, like, attack the zombie through it. So if you see... If no, well, trust me on this one. The iron golem can actually attack zombies through this. Now, this is for when I start having a raid and raiders want to come in or get close to the villages. The iron golem can just attack them without getting attacked himself, unless until the evokers come. But then I'll deal with the evokers myself. It'll probably have to be. So, yeah, you know, I'm now going to cut until the uh, 
zombie villager is no longer a zombie villager and I'll see you then okay so it's now daytime so hopefully we uh, the zombie villager would have turned no yeah would have turned into a villager and essentially what that means of course is that his trades are going to be really nice I might take um, villagers just normally without turning them into zombie villagers and putting them there because I have a limited supply of gold and I don't think villagers can sell me gold if they can then guess which villager I'll be next kidnapping and uh, um, converting and reverting or whatever mm -hmm. so let's see yep I can hear a villager here we go hello there villager uh, I do have my fence post great now if I just uh, position this boot here Okay, uh, uh, no, oh, okay. Do this. If I then take this. What? Okay, let me break the bed. So you can see this is, I'm actually, this is something else I'm really proud of now. Because if this works, it will be so nice. So nice. Okay, okay, good. Uh, I want my boots. Okay, never mind. Now let's put down a bed. Okay. And you know what? Let me let me put this down here. Oh wait, one second. I just realized something. He 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 can he can. Okay. Do I have some? That is well good. Let me do this now. I believe mobs won't normally go on the wall if you do that wall trick, where you put the wall on the fence gate. But I don't know. Oh wait. You can. Mm, one second. Let me uh, do this. Now I can't get up. Of course, I will find some nicer way of doing this. Um. Oh no! One second. I thought they the enchanted book was like the first trade. That is awkward. That is very awkward. With my slab. That's not a slab. I return the slabs. I'm such an idiot. You know what? But it would be nice just to have a nice crafting table over here, just so I can craft anything that is necessary. Let me just make a slab. I have like 50 back um, at my house but I can't be able to get them okay so I should be able to nope okay I need to make a fence gate all right just one second okay so having done some research it turns out that essentially okay well that's not useful is it but essentially what happens is the villager um, every time they are well, not unlocked, no, sorry, I time they unlocked a new tier, so for example, if they go from uh, novice to where was next, then what they do is they choose from uh, two possible um, different uh, things that they can do. So, for example, if uh, I believe for the first tier for the villager offer, who is a librarian, you can either get, you, can have, like, you have like a choice of three, so you can either get... Um, uh, an emerald trade for bookshelves, a trade for trade books for emeralds, or emeralds for enchanted books. And obviously, well, what's that? Or emeralds for enchanted books. So every time that happens, there's like every time Vilja gets that profession, there's a random chance of which is going to get going to get two out of a possible world. What what the hell? Why is it holding a saddle? No. One second. Why is it actually holding a saddle? Not a saddle, um, uh, what do you call it? Lead. I have no clue. So essentially, now there's a two in three chance that this villager now has a, uh, what do you call it? A, um, uh, enchanted book. Here we go, loyalty. That's not useful. I don't have a trident yet, so we will break. Ah, oh, is that an enderman? That is useful. Oh, come on. Get, get out of the way. You are making this difficult for yourself. Let me just put this here. Now I can also get rid of this. And he can access this, can't he? Yeah. Now he can. Okay. If you're going to be difficult, then I will also be difficult, villager. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, now I heard an enderman. 
Where is the Enderman? Okay, well, it is daytime, so it's unlikely to be around here. So, essentially, I'm going to uh, cut the video, and we will see how the villager responds to... Actually, let me put down the lectern. We need to wait until he becomes unemployed, and I believe in order to do that, you need to get out of the villager's sight, um, because, um, allegedly, they can only have, like... They can only do uh, one activity. Here we go. Wait one second. Mm -hmm. Village, yeah? You can only have like one activity, and that is either looking at the player or changing. Okay, nope. Projectile protection. That is trash. How dare you give me trash? Fire aspect. That is better, but uh, that is easy to get from uh, a normal uh, enchanting table, which you can't do with mending. How dare he? How dare he? You know, this is spending so much time. And now soon I need to go and cut the video because I don't want to have literally the only thing. Protection? No. Okay. Well, I will cut the video and we'll see when I finally get what I want. So either mending or another really good... I just got um, just now Feather Falling 4, literally just after I cut the video. And I have a funny vi um, story with this because I literally... I got a Feather 4 enchanted book and then after that I was like, okay, you know what? Let me get some diamond boots, put this on. So this is Feather 4 enchanting book, and I thought, okay, down boots, let me just give them like a level 20 enchantment or whatever. I got Feather Falling 4 in that as well, so now I literally have Feather Falling 4 book with no use at all whatsoever. Fire Protection 4 is good, but like, that's not what I want. Punch 2 is also good. No, that's not good. Okay, I can't believe this villager. Now, villagers, uh, librarians also, uh, every tier, I believe, like, nearly every tier of, um, Sweeping Edge 3, what the hell, those are good books. <laughs> okay, it seems I'll need to actually have more than one librarian, which is fine, I mean, I don't really mind. Uh, thing is with librarians as well, because, um, I'm not using them too often, they don't need to be, uh, Turn into villagers and then back into zombie villagers and then back into villagers. Loyalty three, that's good for like a trident, but I'm not planning on using a trident. So, quick charge. I actually have a quick charge three tri um, crossbow, so that is unneeded. Come on, quick charge two. Oh, he's giving me better stuff. Hey, change. Okay, don't change. Okay, okay. luck of the sea. Oh. Ooh. No, just because I am going for mending right now. Sharpness 3. Again, that's nice, but I do actually have like a. What sharpness is in my book? In Ooh. Whoa. I'm going to lock that in actually. Um, um, infinity is definitely something I want. Definitely. I'm actually really, really happy I found that. <laughs> This is actually has been such a productive episode. I thought, okay, you know what, today, Iron Golem gets off the plot. Okay. I thought today will be like, I'll uh, just do a bamboo farm and that's it. But actually, it has been an incredibly productive episode. And um, I'm still going to sell it as a bamboo farm episode. Okay. Uh, but it has been so productive. Um, at the end of the episode, of course, I need to check how much bamboo I have got. It should be a fair amount because I have been AFK for a while as well. So let me just uh, F10 this. That is for my uh, thumbnail. Sometimes I make thumbnails for my videos. Other times I can't be bothered. Okay. Okay. So. Actually, one second. Actually, no, never mind. I wanted to see what his other trade was. So if it was books, then I could have um, could have properly leveled him up quite quickly. But if it's not books, then it's fine. Because... Uh, like, infinity is so good. Now, the shame is, though, I only need one infinity, which is, one second, I think, let me double check, but I think I can get infinity from other sources, i.e., like, from the enchanting table. Minecraft infinity, okay. Because, if that is true, then uh, there's not actually much point of getting an infinity book villager because it's just like one okay let 
Let's see, enchantments. <laughs> Summary of enchantments. Okay, I think you can get infinity with just normal uh, enchanting table enchants. So I'm going to change that because you can't do that with mending. Mending is a treasure enchant, so you can only get it, for example, from uh, treasure chests. Treasure chests, uh, frost. Whoa, those are good enchants, you know. Infinity again, so you can only get it from treasure chests, uh, villages seen here, looting 2 is also good, villages and, uh, what's the other one, oh yes, um, fishing, okay, so I'm going to go again, uh, I'm going to cut the video again and we'll see what we get, come on, last chance I know, okay, so I actually found another, um, good villager, so he is the armourer, so I haven't done any, Zombie villager and six with him, but he's sending me diamond, not diamond, iron leggings and iron is it boots or oh no, oh no, oh no, no, there is a zombie which I might need to kill. Iron boots and iron something else for only one emerald, which is good. That is a good deal if I say so myself. Now, I will need to get some other stuff. He's, he's sleeping there. Okay. For some reason, he hasn't turned back into a thing. Like, a normal unemployed guy. So, uh, hope, I don't think... I haven't traded with him. I don't think there's, like, a cooldown for how many times he can switch. So, I don't know what's happening there. So, what I will do is I will come back to you when I've got some stuff sorted out. So, again, this villager got, gave me an enchanted fire and efficiency... Four book now, okay. As you can see, there does seem to be some disparity between how good the enchantment is and how many emeralds it costs. But 14 emeralds, four and book four, like efficiency four is in efficiency five, rather, is incredibly, incredibly cheap. Like, whoa, but of course, I want spending later on. I will definitely get more villagers, um, to be librarians, and we can work on that. But and like I said, I need golden apples because it does seem that good enchantments are expensive. Come on. Change your profession. Don't let me stop. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Sweeping edge three. That's like the best sweeping edge. That gives them. I think. Uh, I think it's 75% uh, of the damage you do is done to mobs around you. So it's like really good. Um, unfortunately, yeah. No luck of the sea is also good for fishing rods. Efficiency four. No mending, please. Multi shots, that's like that's pretty good crossbow enchantment. Infinity again. So yeah, you can as you can see this is getting kind of frustrating. Because I'm getting efficiency two isn't too impressive, but I'm getting pretty good frostwalk again, like I'm getting pretty good enchanted books, just not what I want. Channeling that's great for the trident. Punch two for bows. Okay, alright, I'll see you again Okay, shortly. so Instead of just waiting around, doing nothing Waiting for this villager to actually get ready I've decided to get, uh, like I said, another villager This time one to sell me armour And this time I've also got him A nice buddy to mess around with Until, uh, whoa, there yeah. Ow, ah, ooh, you really hurt me mm. Um, yeah, I decided to get him another person to mess around with Until, ouch Uh yeah, so then I can get some nice good deals on some armor pieces. So oh, I can't see, of course. Now, once we're going to sneeze. Okay, okay, so there are loads of monsters around. So I'll obviously have to. Uh... Oh, sneeze again. <coughs> no, go away. <coughs> Sorry, I did need to sneeze. Okay, one second. What's this? What the? Okay. It does seem to be um, night outside, so because um, I can hear zombies dying, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside again. Just wait for the. Oh, is it night time? It is and uh, daytime. Right? So uh, I'm just going to wait for the zombie to kill the villager anytime soon. Anytime soon. Okay. Oh, he is decked out today, isn't he? Kaboom! 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 Yes, I hear this is happening. How exciting. 
There we go, okay. Now I am going to take a weapon that is 5.55, 5, okay. Okay, and uh, kill the zombie. He's dead. And then, kaboom. Okay. So meanwhile, I might actually, because I think I have enough for yet another village transform. I might get another villager who is this time an uh, a weaponsmith or a toolsmith. No, I have good tools. Let's do weapons first. Okay, so let me just get to the boat. Let me just nab a villager. Any villager will do. Here we go. That's a boat. Okay, up we go. Now this is done because things like uh, things like weapons are, I mean, I always, and tools and armor. I'm always going to be using. I don't want to get like a nice set of uh, armor for like a lot of money. So, how the guy is doing? A cartographer, farmer. That's like the farmer's been doing loads. Wait, well, there must be more villages in this. Okay, oh cool. So I'm just gonna keep the librarian and the farmer here. I'm going to nab uh, the cartographer. So the cartographer, if you go this come this way please. Thank you. And since I haven't traded with him, he's going to be able to uh he's going to be able to uh what do you call it? Change professions, that's the one. If I just move this boat out of the way. Okay, good, now get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boot. Good. And let me run my boat to the edge. Well, I can hear the zombie villager. And now here's the thing. I don't think I actually necessarily need to wait. Oh come on. I don't think I need to necessarily wait to get another zombie. Just because there's zombie village downstairs, but in order to have a bit more control, I'm just gonna no shortcuts in this stage. Okay. I also notice my water bucket is messing around as well. So if I do this, this, this. Okay. I'm gonna set this up so then I can end the episode by having uh, something good. So see you then. Okay. So I got this um, villager as you saw. Uh, infected then I infected then I tried to muster him up and now you can see we here have protection one and feather falling one blind diamond armor but for one emerald each that is ridiculous like look at this and also shields as well that's nice to have uh, this is silly um, but the thing is of course I do need to kind of level him up so I can get the chest plate and the legging uh, and the helmet now, of course, this isn't, this isn't going to be my proper proper armor, but, I mean, come on. Any time I need new diamond armor, well, currently, you no know, two emeralds, maybe a little more, but probably four emeralds for just four set of diamond armor. That is really, really good. And it's also enchanted, like a protection one, and feather falling one. And this is definitely easily sustainable, just with, like, everything I have. So, I mean, this is why I spent so much effort getting that gold, the apples... You know, with splash potion of weaknesses, and then the whole system of getting the villager into the um, area, etc. Because now I have a very quick, easy, and effective way of just getting really good stuff. So let's see. The what did the villager take damage? How do they take damage? Okay, like I struggle without jumping, well even with jumping, to take damage in this village, like I'm not going to pretend to be a villager hmm. can I, can you go here and then, no? can you, oh of course they have to fight, oh there goes a the villager, as in he's now good, so do they, are they actually going on to, okay as you can see the villagers like, they're, they're so dumb I'm pretty sure I had more villagers as well, except they just died. Let me put actually this armor here, but I can't bother to carry it around. Okay, so as you heard, yet another villager has been um, turned back into a zombie villager has been turned back into a villager. So I need a bed. This one's going to be my 
tool guy so I can get like good diamond tools again for one emerald if possible that would be excellent let me do this okay and in here now I'm still I've still yet to get that mending book and I will get the mending book in this episode you know this guy he can have the um, executive suite if I can get there yep thank you good 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 okay ouch all right so you can have your bed now I think actually I do believe that you can't actually go even if I put the bed like this you can't go on top of the um, thing just because he, the fence is 1.5 blocks high so he can if I break a block here then he'd be able to but not currently as it stands if you understand what I mean because I, my worry was if I put the bed on there then because the bed is a 0.5 block and get onto the fence but unless he shifts which he can't he can't so okay that wasn't me see he is trying you know, the poor guy but yeah sorry not, pos not possible yeah okay cool okay hey look at that that is an amazing trade amazing um oh wait now i've traded with him now it's locked on his by loads of swords that was a mistake on my part yeah okay that, that was silly that was very silly i've now wasted a fair bit of uh emerald because essentially one of the trades for the armor smith the weapon guy and the tool guy is that they can um like for this guy, for example, I got him to the first level by simply. Wait, I need to buy something else for me. There you go. Simply by um, uh, giving him coal. Give him a fair bit of coal, a stack, and then he got turned. Okay, a bell. Mm. Okay. I can feed. I have iron. I can feed this guy iron to get him to a high level. Because obviously, I do want them to be. Oh, wait, he's already at a high level. Flint. Um, Flint. No, not now. Okay. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Full set of Diamond Arm. Protection 3. Four, four emeralds. Now, that is definitely something that is very good. Now, let me try and get a mending so I can actually properly have a good episode. And, yeah, I'll see you okay, soon. Okay, so, try as I might, I couldn't get to mending. So, this village is currently, currently, well, I said currently twice. It's currently in my bad books so you can do this and go to sleep yeah go to sleep but on uh, in the good news so i tried getting the um uh, tool guy to the maximum level as you can see by his diamond patch he is now so let's see what good trades we have so this is um before nice nice okay That's <clears throat> Okay, so all this effort for that. When I wanted, you know, pickaxes. Oh, wait, it's the weaponsmith, not the toolsmith. That is my bad. I gave him the wrong thing. Okay, you know what? That's acceptable. That is acceptable. I mean, I'm breaking three isn't exactly the most exciting of enchants. Um, but you know, you can, you do what you can. This guy is just annoying. Okay, so thank you for watching. I'm gonna end, end the episode there. Things gone on for a fair while. Let's go check on the bamboo farm first. I just uh, quickly run over there. So obviously this f episode was meant to be focused on the bamboo farm, but it took us so little time that I thought I might as well do some stuff with the village that I was intending to do, mostly off camera, but it's quite cool to see anyway. So let's see. Excellent, excellent. Stacks and stacks of bamboo, more than I need. Um, and obviously sometime, I mean, at some point I need to start utilizing that um, elsewhere. But thank you for watching, I um, hope you enjoyed this episode, um, and please share, etc, and like, and uh, I don't care, just just watch it and enjoy. But yeah, see you soon, let me just check how much string I have for the scaffolding. Yep, that's enough. Okay, well, see you soon, and goodbye.